more tools.
where it's bubbled through. This stuff. Clean it up, grind it off, come back to it. Showing you guys this trick, but are it's set to proper flow. I mean, sometimes you can't just go by what it's set there. It's all, all, all the uh, the uh, at least not this kind. If you got the bubble flow meter, the one with the little uh, little ball inside of glass, so you can actually see the little ball rise up. Yeah, that works. That's pretty accurate. That's, I'm going to say it's 100% accurate. Maybe not the numbers, but at least I, I just go by what, what I can see. How far away, how far the, the little ball travels up. But on this kind, it's just a knob. And it, it's really 
not accurate. So the way I, I set it is just by ear. And I just turn off the machine, turn off the welder, and the torch, yeah, it will still work. It's a, it's a mechanical valve, it's not electric, so it still works if the machine is off. And I just press it. Now here, I'll listen to how much uh, air is going out, how much uh, MIG gas is going out. Um, the reason I gotta turn off the machine is if it's on, when I press the trigger, it'll get the wire coming out. So. Here's a little trick for you. Okay, so pretty much down the road in these spots. I'm just gonna come back over it later, grind it off. And Because sparks will fly and it'll burn your hair, and your hair smells really bad. Plus, you get little bruises. Okay, so you see down there? So, I'm closing that up with. Uh, with the polyurethane from Home Depot Auto Parts all the way there along the top as well so that's all sealed up all the way to the top as well and on the other side there was a big hole I'm just getting it closed up now See there, it's still it's still got a big hole there. I'm closing that up. See there. big hole there and of course from there the water starts going all the way along the car and the whole side just rots off so I'm not stopping that these big holes here I'm gonna eliminate them I'm gonna weld them up as well I don't know why what the hell this is for There's a big hole there It's definitely getting closed. Now these little holes, they're for little stupid clips that go in there to hold the wire. And uh, which is stupid, ugly, and bad. But it's not horrible. I mean, it to me it is, but... I'm gonna figure out a way to, to find an alternative. There weld some nuts here, or some some bolts, little bolts, something because I don't really like these holes. Or I might just put some stainless steel uh, screws into them. I don't know, but uh, I don't like the idea of having holes. De definitely not that big. There. That's that's terrible. Definitely not, nothing that big there. Nothing like that for sure. Now those holes over there. They're there. It's too 
dark to see. Okay. I sort of left them open because my idea is that I can put a holes in there and clean off, clean up all that middle there. All that uh, hood grill area there. But yeah, definitely, that's the most important. That big hole there, that's definitely really important to fix there. And of course, I got that big hole down there. So I'm gonna fix that one there too. That's where the uh, battery bracket used to go, but it's it's more it's more than strong enough with the other one. So I'm just gonna leave this this one out. That's I'm just gonna leave it out. See, and the Rambler they actually used threaded nuts there. See, actual nuts. It actually not the best, of course, but it should be stainless. But still, much better than the Cadillac, for example. They just use stupid little clips. This here, I can actually put some, you know, heat it up or whatever, and I can actually unseize it. But this here is plenty strong enough. You can stand on it, and you don't really need this here, so it's just going to stay out. Not quite sure how I'm going to change this, but I really wanted to. What I really want us to do is get rid of this sheet steel here. It's still very thick. This is probably uh, 14 gauge or at least 16. It's, it's very thick. But I'd like to get rid of it and put a flat, solid piece of steel here. Flat bar, maybe maybe 8 millimeters thick, something like that. 5 maybe, 5 millimeter thick. But I may or may not do that, probably not. But this year I'm definitely gonna have to, I'm gonna remove this and replace it with the pipe with the threaded rods here and bolts. Um, I could just weld it back, but I don't really want to do that. I want it, I want to do the proper job since it's already cut. And that way if I ever have to remove the engine or just remove the, the pipe here for some reason. Yeah, you just remove it, right? If it's welded, then you can't really remove it easily. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I did here. You see, On this side. I showed this in another video, but I put actual threaded bolts with threads on them and uh, threaded rods going all the way across this pipe here. So look at how much, how many threads are in that. See, it's a lot. Now on this side, flimsy little bolts, they got really weird threads on them. And they just go directly onto sheet steel. This is just a sheet. This here, this here is pipe. See how thick that is. But even if it was just on the pipe, Okay, it's not gonna zoom in apparently. Son of a bitch. Anyways, with, there's no, there's only, there's not any threads here. It's just directly onto the sheet steel. And then of course, as you can see, one of them just broke off. And uh, it's, it's weird and it's bad because you see there's space here and it's not nice and flat. Over here it's nice and flat. Can actually hit it really hard with a hammer like that, and nothing happens to it. You see, if I do that here, well, I'll get dented. So, obviously, for an accident, oh man, I feel bad for anybody that hits this here. So, that's the game. I'm gonna clean.